Well, UNICEF estimates that one in ten girls in Africa miss school because of the periods each year. Without access to proper education and resources, some girls are often forced to stay away from school during their periods, and this leads to about 10 to 20 percent of school days missed. The World Menstrual Hygiene Day comes with a need to push for a world free of period poverty and stigma. And this can be achieved through urgent investment. And the Nigerian government seems to be taking this action through the unveiling of a program tagged the Menstrual Part Bank. Kemi Balogun has details. The 2018 Global Slavery Index report ranks Nigeria as 32nd out of 167 countries with the highest number of slaves amounting to a whopping 1.386 million. The country remains a transit source and destination point on human trafficking. This report being launched was carried out in two project states to conduct a gender assessment of protection services offered to victims in shelters, safe homes and other frontline service providers. And most of these and sometimes children too are trafficked and exploited into the sex sector as well as into domestic work, agriculture and beggary. We can all agree that the only way uh, we can effectively counter trafficking in persons is with evidence and this report will no doubt provide just that and inform our collective actions. The overall goal was to support and strengthen the gender responsiveness of intervention by NAPTI to facilitate policy, prevention, protection and prosecution and partnership in relation to trafficking and migration matters. Other speakers at this event say the findings from the gender audit report will form a basis for specialized training developed to promote a proactive response and gender-sensitive service delivery for security, health and justice. We end up with victims and they form the critical part of the end of the work that we do. Because in every, in every intervention when it comes to such kind of crimes, there's going to be prosecution, there's going to be uh, sentencing. We have to put it, we have to consider it so as to see that our internal uh, problems will be solved as well as the external. International and local government agencies are optimistic that this gender assessment of protection services offered to victims will translate towards increasing gender sensitive information and awareness on this rising problem. This research will be key to contributing to preventing, mitigating and responding to trafficking incidents across Nigeria. Kami Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.